Hi, welcome back to my no-till garden. It's the end of February, so I wanted to show you what to do with the ground cover of oats that was planted in the fall. Um, I'm going to remove the uh, ground cover of oats because I'm going to plant seeds. I'm going to plant peas, so I want to get it ready. I'm going to plant by the moon phases this year, so March the 2nd of 2012 is the time to plant seeds outdoors. So I'm going to plant this bed with peas, early peas. And then later, I'll put in cantaloupe. So the ground cover that I planted in the fall in September has grown green and died back, creating this nice bed of mulch. If I were to put tomato plants in here and that were already started, transplants, what I would do is just spread this open and plant the tomato right there. Again, it's a no-till garden, so you're not going to dig this soil over. What I want to plant are pea seeds, so I'm going to remove the mulch so the ground warms up and prepares the bed for planting. So I'm going to just show you how I remove it. I don't pull the roots out. What I want to do is try and just leave the roots in, so I'm sort of shaking it off. And of course, all of this can be put in your compost pile or used as mulch because it will not regrow. And I'm exposing my irrigation. So I'm going to just continue clearing this from the bed. I decided to leave a layer along the fence as mulch just to help prevent weeds from starting to grow there. This is a lot easier than rototilling or digging your soil in the spring. Um, what you do want to remember though is to add fertilizer, um, something sprinkled on top to add the three major nutrients back to the soil. Right, now, I have, now I have a pile of uh, compost material or I can use it on another bed as mulch if I wish. The next thing I'm going to do I have irrigation, it's drip irrigation, and I'm going to raise it just a little so I can get my material under here. And I'm going to add an inch of compost. This is compost that I made last year and it's ready to apply. So I'm gonna put about an inch layer on the bed. Again, I'm not digging so Compost is all ready to plan in. March the 2nd is coming the end of the week. I will be able to put my seeds right in the soil. Don't have to worry about it being dry enough. I don't have to mess around with the soil. That should be close to uh, what I'm looking for. So the next thing I wanna do is just go down here and spread it out. This is garlic I planted in October and it should be ready in July. I'm gonna push this under my irrigation line so I know where it's at. I did put a hole in it one time because I didn't see it by digging with my trowel to plant something. And there I am, I'm ready to plant peas as soon as the moon says it's right. And that will be March 2nd, 2012, peas. Thank you for coming back and visiting my website. So long.